Paul Angott has a very personal reason for developing the First Sense Breast Exam, which may increase the survivability of breast cancer for women through early detection. My mother had breast cancer. She had two mastectomies 13 years apart. The cancer spread and she died, and, and it really destroyed her life. She became angry with God and the world, and I said someday I'll fix that problem or correct it. First Sense Medical Chief Financial Officer Karen Milner says, she joined the company because she was intrigued by their product, which can detect tumors as small as one centimeter. I would say most women are intrigued by it. Um, they're intrigued by the convenience of being able to have a breast exam with that kind of accuracy in their doctor's office at an affordable rate. The First Sense breast exam is simple, painless, and takes minutes. A woman lies in her stomach with her breast suspended in the machine while a thermal camera spins around, detecting differences in temperature. The First Sense uh, medical scan will help to detect early breast cancer, particularly in younger women who are not getting routine mammography uh, or in women with very dense breasts. The First Sense breast exam will be available to doctors in 2013. It and other medical devices will be featured at Oakland County, Michigan's upcoming Medical Main Street Intervention Conference in Rochester, Michigan in early October. 4,900 clinical trials are done in Southeast Michigan alone. That's more than California, New York, New Jersey, here in Michigan. We have more healthcare workers here than the Mayo Clinic and the Cleveland Clinic combined. We're a well-kept secret and we're not keeping the secret any longer. We're telling the world. In health news, I'm Bob Dustman.